This is a monster of a book. Yeah, there's like over 400 pages in this. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, Tony Robbins is like a legend. So anything he says, I'm like, mm. highlighting, taking mental notes. <laughs> I think this month I'm trying to really focus on my professional development, where I'm sort of at in my life. And I think this is the perfect book to read at this time. He also talks about making decisions which means that we decide to do one thing and cutting out all other alternatives like we will not settle for anything but the path we decide to choose and i think that's super powerful because i think too often we say like oh i'd like to do this in the future or i want to be able to do this but those are not actually decisions those are just desires basically he's saying don't just go with the flow do not just be swayed by your environment but actually make conscious decisions <laughs>
my gosh, that person just made a turn right in front of me. Holy moly. Um, but anyway, I'm on my way to therapy again. I couldn't go last week because I had Valentine's Day plans, but this week we are back on it. Also, I realized that there's a lot of new people on this channel now, and so I wanted to do a little fun fact get to know me that's hopefully different than my other 50 facts about me video because <laughs> I don't really remember what I said in that one but I'm gonna just come up with stuff off the top of my head that could be interesting about me so the first fact is obviously my name is Allison but my name was almost gonna be Brandy my mom really liked that name because of a song and my dad is like Nah. <laughs> I used to be a competitive figure skater for about like seven years or something, but it got to the point where I hated to step on the rink every time. So I stopped doing that and then I started dance instead. But I feel like dance was such a better outlet for me because it was everything that I liked about ice skating without like the bad parts. <laughs> Hopefully I'm still going in the right direction. I think I missed my turn. I think I told you guys that I have an older brother and we're like cool now but back in the day we used to get on each other's nerves so much. He used to like fiddle around with my toys and then accidentally break them. Well he said accidentally but I don't know if it was on purpose and that made me so mad. I used to think I was allergic to chocolate milk and peanuts because back in first grade, before I went to school, I ate peanuts and chocolate milk for breakfast. I know, a weird combination. And then I threw up everywhere and I was so embarrassed. This was also the grade that I didn't have the nicest teacher. I feel like she just hated me for no reason. <laughs> and so when I threw up, she got so mad at me. And like, I was in first grade, like what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Also, at that school, I really had no friends, so I befriended the janitor, and he used to call me Alley Alligator. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to cut this little conversation short because my camera literally keeps, like, falling. So, I will catch you guys when I'm done with therapy. I am about to go to a Pilates workout class with one of my friends. I'm so excited because I've never done like a workout class before, which sounds surprising because I go to the gym like every single day, but I've never used the free classes. And I don't know, I just haven't like gotten a chance to do it, but my friend works out a lot and I saw that she was going to like all these cool workout classes. So I'm like, um, I wanna join. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my bag here. The water bottle. I don't know why I'm already out of breath. <laughs> I do want to wash my face just because I'm looking a little shiny right now. Oh my gosh, my forehead. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna wash my face right now actually. I don't like working out when I already feel oily, if that makes sense. And I feel like the water will wake me up a bit because I'm a little bit sleepy, not gonna lie. <laughs> gonna do some toner and then some moisturizer all right I will see you guys at the workout class I'm super excited I just finished the workout class and it was the hardest workout I've ever done in my life. I was dying, but I feel really good now. I feel strong, but I know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. 